What's going on YouTube? This is K Reese here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the oil in your Honda S2000. Alright guys, so what y'all are going to need today, first off, is a jack to get this low car up off the ground. I went ahead and drove it up on some bricks just to get it up before I went ahead and put the jack under it. Put a block under here just to support it. Pulled the e-brake. So everything's supported. Make sure it's safe before you get under it. And the supplies you're gonna need today, first you're gonna need a drain pan to drain your old engine oil into. You're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket or wrench, doesn't matter. A pin light always comes in handy when you're up under the car just to see small spaces. A rag because no oil change job is clean. A funnel, this car takes 5.1 quarts of oil. So I have five quarts here of 1030 and I'm going to put a tenth of a quart of some Lucas oil stabilizer in. And I have a K&N filter. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so under the vehicle you're going to find the oil drain pan over here on the passenger side of the vehicle. Straight ahead what you see in front of you is your 18 millimeter drain bolt. If you look above, this is your filter. And like I said, passenger side of the vehicle. So with your drain pan in place, we're gonna go ahead and pull this plug, drain the oil, pull the filter, drain the filter. Go ahead and loosen your drain plug. There it goes. All right. And I am doing this with the engine warm first. You are gonna wanna warm your engine up first. It makes the oil drain easier and also collects all the particles. After your oil is drained completely, go ahead, reinstall your drain plug with your fingers only. Make sure you get it threaded on good, and then you can go ahead and tighten it up with your ratchet. And what I love about the K&N filter is that it has a spot on the end where a one inch socket, like I have right here, will fit onto it because the filters are always on there really tight. And they're always difficult to get off, so you can put this on and take it off very easily. Alright, so with your filter removed, always check and make sure that the rubber seal that you see here is indeed still on the filter and not on the engine block. So if you can see that, we'll go ahead and take a, a rag and just wipe the seat of that engine block, the housing cover off. Make sure it's nice and clean before we install a new filter. So with your new filter, you can see I always put a little bit of oil in them uh, that it just soaks in so it's not completely dry when the motor starts, even though you're putting it on an angle, uh, but there's still some oil in here. And also, if you can see the ring, you always take with your finger and lightly put a coat of oil around that ring to help it seat up against the base of the block here. So now we'll go ahead, reinstall your filter. So with your filter on, you can see... You, once you get it started, the thread started, you see it turns very easily. This is how you know that it is on and not cross-threaded. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and snug it up. Alright, so after you've added your 5 quarts to your 1030, now this is just me. I said it holds 5.1. I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of this Lucas here. Yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, so with our fill cap replaced, we're gonna go ahead and start the engine up, check for leaks. Once we have confirmed there are no leaks under the vehicle, we're gonna lower it down so that it's level, shut it off, let it sit a minute, and we're gonna check and make sure that our oil is where it's supposed to be on the dipstick. So the engine is running, it's going underneath. No leaks coming from bolt, no leaks coming from around your filter all right so now that we've confirmed that we'll shut her down lower her down and recheck our dipstick all right so i know it's hard to see but your oil once you check it you got your low and your high mark this one's about right at the high mark so lower down you've got clean oil in your honda s2000 and a fresh filter i hope this video helped you i'm k reese thanks for watching like comment and subscribe